All right, today we are going to finish the engine tear down on Lance's 4106. So I've still got a couple cylinder kits to get out of it, and I need to get the plate off the bottom of the engine that converts it so the oil pan sits flat under there with the engine laid over. Um, I did some work off camera. I got the bad cylinder kits out of it, you know, the really low compression cylinders, and then uh, I went ahead and pulled the main cap just so I can get the main bearing sizes on this thing. But I'm going to get this opened up, ready to start working. I'm going to go grab the cylinder and some of the liners out of this thing that we've already pulled and show you guys the really low cylinders that we had and show you what we found on those. So this is our biggest problem cylinder. If you look there, 1L. So that is the 270 PSI cylinder. When you look at this piston, I got in my pocket real quick just so you guys can see that it's not just dirt wear it does have some good wear you can see pretty heavy wearing right through here where the piston kind of rides down but the big thing I noticed and I really wasn't expecting this is none of the rings on this thing are broken so we've gone all the way around all the rings are in one piece. I really expect it. That's a nice gouge right there. But I really expected to find broken rings in this pack. All of our oil control rings look good. <coughs> you just keep breathing and pollen out here, so you gotta deal with that. But when you get down here on the compression rings, you'll start seeing our problem, which it's not terrible. Oh man, that's, that's really rough right there. You can drag your nail across all of that anyway so you see how there's a groove in the center Let's see if i can focus this a little better here there's a groove down the center of the ring there's one here there's one here and this one is barely visible to non-existent depending on where you get it that's a wear indicator so when they're gone like it is down here that means that ring is just completely worn out so i don't see anything that's really screaming we had a serious parts failure i just think it's worn out and from the documentation I'm finding and all the signs on the bus, it looks like this engine was rebuilt in 1979. Here are some of the other ones. So the liners, there's a lot of heat marking in them. And the lower ones, we really can't read any of the serial numbers. Those are all missing. Now the block is stamped one at every hole. So I've got one good part number there, which I gave to the part guys. I'm thinking these are number one liners. Um, but they're all marked the same, and they all appear to be measuring up pretty much the same. So we ordered a full set based off of that. Let's see which one this one is. 3R. So this is a top bank, that low compression cylinder, the one that was like 310. Um, a lot of carbon built up past the rings there. It's not really that worn out though. It's still got a good lip all the way through it. So I'm not really seeing what it was on that because we tested the valves on that cylinder to make sure it wasn't valve leakage. But it had a problem. It'll be resolved by the time it's done. The heads are currently at the machine shop. They're getting taken care of. This cap's fighting me. doesn't want to there we go. Come off. So Bearings are definitely showing some wear in the bottom end of this. And if I pop the bearings out of it. Uh, there we go. They still say GM on them. I have never torn apart an engine that still has GM bearings in it. So, it also leads me to believe that that 1979 rebuild very likely is the last one this had. So that should have been about the time this thing was at Custom Coach getting its conversion. So my guess is when they bought it, they went ahead and did a rebuild while it was getting the conversion done at Custom Coach. So this plate right here, see your bolts on there. That's what I need to work on getting off here because unfortunately, it's slide under here more. You cannot get the main caps out of it in place. So this one is blocked by the oil diverter over there, which you cannot get the bolts out of. And just a few issues like that through here. A surprising find though is, if you guys can see on that back set of cylinders there, it's got the reinforcement plates like a 92 series. 
I want the heads off to see if those say 92. Um, no, they say 71. Huh. Well, I was assuming that somebody had just installed those at some point, but 12 point main stud that says 70. I guess the 92 is used a bigger main bolt. I've never seen that inside of a 71 series before. I'm assuming because the thrust surface is back there that they're using that to reinforce the mains at the thrust surface. This bus was a manual. So I'm guessing they do that to maybe stop premature wear or issues with maybe it flexing. I'm not sure. I've never seen that say 71. I've never seen a 71 that's got that or the 12 point bolts. So that is interesting. If anyone knows about that or was that a common thing to swap to? I, I haven't seen that before in one of these, but I gotta get this plate off. Uh, as you can see, some of the bolts are inside of it here, and the rest of them are out. Most of them shouldn't be too bad, but it's gonna be really fun to get up and get those. Once that's out of here, it'll make it easier to get the rest of the cylinder kits out. As you can see, I've got quite a few of them pulled already. We'll go ahead and get the rest of them out. Uh, I don't expect to find anything crazy in the rest of this teardown. But I'll keep you guys updated as we get it finished up here. Well, it's putting up a pretty good fight. But we're down to uh, one more bolt, I think. And then i got to get the dipstick out of it. And I should be ready to come down. <sighs> These things are not fun to get out of there. I will uh, show you when you get them out. But It's been a fight. There's one bolt, at least it's going to get re-threaded. It was cross-threaded in there and... Probably fought it for a half hour to get it out of there. It's in a terrible spot. Okay, so the plate is down and off the engine, but it's not all the way out because at some point in this bus's history, somebody has installed a trailer hitch, and when they did, they welded it in a way where I can't get this cross member out without cutting some stuff. So I'm gonna have to go through and cut that because that's gonna be the only way to get this entire plate out of here. Now, if I was just trying to do the bottom end, I could probably work through this, but we've got a bolt that is not that hole right there, but the one right above it has no threads left in it. They cross-threaded that when they put it in and pulled every thread out of it. So we are going to have to drill that one and helicoil it or put a threaded insert in, something like that. And then when I said I had one bolt left to go, I think you can tell what my problem was with that bolt. Uh, I ended up having to sneak a big half-inch ratchet in and reach through the bulkhead to get it loose. And, uh, I mean, I guess I got it loose, but I broke the head off. So, I got a pretty good little stub of it sticking out there. So, I'm hoping that uh, we get in there with a little bit of heat and uh, some penetrating oil, maybe grab it with an extractor. And I'm hoping we can just thread it out of there so we won't have to fix that hole. But, even if we do, it's not a huge deal right now. So, that's pretty much going to do it for the... Disassembly. Every cylinder that's left in here is not one set low compression, so I'm not expecting to find anything interesting in those holes. I uh, just gotta wait till I get a little bit of help later to get them pushed out of there because it's a two-person job to get those out. But we'll get those out of there sometime throughout the week. Here I'll come through and get this cross member removable again, so we can get this plate down and get it cleaned. We'll get those bolts taken care of, and. Uh, Hopefully this weekend we will be doing reassembly on this thing. The cylinder heads I think are supposed to be back from machine shop Wednesday. And from there, all the parts should be here by the time the heads get back. Now, I am curious about when or if this engine's been apart since the rebuild. The bearings have me believing that it was rebuilt in 79. That was probably the last time someone was in here. As you can see here, I found more of uh, bolts that aren't factory. And I don't know if they did that at the same time. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if at some point this engine's had a reseal on it and they pulled it apart just to seal it but not replaced any of the internals. Because everything else about this rebuild seems pretty good but there's some stuff on the outside. Like that cross-threaded bolt, the fact that about half of these were loose. Um, you know, obviously the damage we found to the heads. I'm wondering if Somebody's had it apart to reseal it, maybe, or something. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that. 
I mean, everything that was done with the rebuild part of it on the bottom end and all that seems good. And looking at the parts, the makers, the part numbers, you know, I believe 79 was the last time that this was done down here. But seeing some of the other stuff, it just isn't adding up like it was the same time that it was a part. The, the quality of workmanship is all over the board. But, like I said, that's going to pretty much do it for the teardown. There's nothing left that's going to be interesting to find or shouldn't be anything that's going to break or anything like that on the rest of it. And uh, keep an eye out next week and we should have videos of this thing going back together. There's also going to be some pretty big news about these buses coming up soon. You guys, keep an eye out on all of Lucky Dog's social media. And I'm pretty sure Lance will be having some announcements coming up here soon as well as that. I think we're going to be working on getting Lance a channel, because you guys pretty overwhelmingly uh, said you want to see one in the comments of the last video. So be keeping your eyes out for that as well.